in this tutorial we are going to talk about electric field and electric forces so here's a question for you an electric field of uh, 100,000 newton per coulomb causes the 5 gram point charge to hang at an angle of 20 degrees what is the charge on the ball okay now it is very very important for us first to understand the question so we have the charge they are saying that the mass of this charge is 5 grams. Now it is hung at an angle of 20 degrees. So the electric field which is present at that particular point, it is 100,000 newton per coulomb. Okay, so we can come up with a free body diagram. A free body diagram is going to help us to come up with an equation which is going to help us to find the, elect, uh, the, charge, of the, uh, the charge of this ball. Okay, so there we go. So... We are going to have the free body diagram. Let's say we have uh, it is hanging. They are saying it is hanging at an angle of 20. So we're going to say this is the angle here, 20 degrees. Okay. So here is our charge. Okay. So this charge, we don't know whether it is positive or negative. Okay. So now what we're going to do there is... Um, the mass of this charge is 5 grams. We know that it is under the influence of gravity. It is hanging. Now, when something is hanging, the force that is going to be present at that particular point, it is the tension force. So the force supported by the lobe, it is the tension force. So here we are going to have the FT, which is the tension force. But we do know that it is in free fall motion. So if it is in free fall motion, it's going to be under the influence of gravity. So we're going to have the mg here. Okay? The weight of this mass. Now, from here what we have to understand is that we're going to have what we call the electric force. Okay? So the electric force which we're going to have is going to be in this direction. So that is our electric force. Now, what we need to remember again is that it is acted at an, uh, at an angle. Meaning that I can say that this tension force is going to be in two, um, it's going to have two components. The X component and the Y component. So we are going to have the Y component of the tension force and the X component of the tension force. Now, this y component i'm going to call it fty the x component i'm going to call it ftx so i can see that the angle which i'm going to have here i'm this is the angle which you have so the angle which is going to be here is going to be the same as the angle which is going to be there therefore this point here we're going to have also 20 degrees okay now from here th this charge or this particle is at equilibrium when it was at, uh, at an angle of 20 degrees, it, so it was at an equilibrium, meaning it was not moving. Therefore, the summation of all the forces in x direction, when we add them, they are going to, to give us zero. The summation of all the forces in, in, x, in x and y direction, they are going to give us zero. So let's start uh, with the forces of what? The forces in x direction. So we're going to say that the summation of all the forces in x direction. How many forces do we have in x direction? We have two forces. Okay, we have the electric force which is pointing in positive x direction. So I'm going to say that I have the electric force. Okay, minus the FTX which is pointing toward negative x direction. FTX. Okay, so I'm going to replace since it is at, at equilibrium, there is no net uh, force. The acceleration is zero. So this is going to be zero. This is going to be minus FTX. I can shift this guy to the other side and then I'm going to find that my FTX will be equal to my FA, which is the electric uh, force. Now, according to Sokatoa, we can see that FTX is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? So, which is going to be uh, the cause in this case. Okay? So, we're going to say that this is going to be replaced by FT cos sine feet so it is opposite over hypotenuse so that's why it's going to be ft so if you use sokatoa it's going to be sine theta is going to be opposite is ftx hypotenuse is ft our goal is to make 
is ft just not ftx our goal is to make ftx as a subject of formula okay so what are we going to do we are going to cross multiply so we are going to find that it's going to be ft it's going to be ftx is going to be equal to ft sin theta okay this is going to be equal to i'm going to have this electric force so i'm going to say that this is my equation 1 we'll leave it there so to create space i'm going to put my equation 1 here i'm going to say that i have ft sin theta has to be equal to this so from here we'll get rid of this let's talk about the forces in y direction okay so the summation of all the forces in y direction we have the fty pointing upward minus the mg according to the second law if there is no acceleration we replace this with zero so i'm going to say that zero will be equal to fty minus mg i'll, sh I'll shift fty to the other side or mg to the other side then i'm going to find that i'm going to have this but according to sokatoa i know that this is going to give us um, it's going to give us cos it's going to be ft cos theta ft cos theta will be equal to mg so i'll call this one to be equation 1 i'll call this one to be equation 2 now what i'm going to do here is um, in equation 2 i'm going to make ft as a subject of formula our goal is to find the uh, the charge okay now we don't have the force we don't have the tension force in this case so we have to eliminate the tension force okay quite okay we can find the electric uh, force well, that is not going to be difficult for us because we have the electric field already okay so i have to eliminate the tension force because i don't have the tension force and i've got no any other method which can help me to find the tension force in this case so i'm going to divide both side in equation 2 by cos theta even here by cos theta therefore my ft will be equal to mg over cos theta now what i need to remember is that this ft which i have in equation 1 it is the same as the ft which i have here okay because we're talking about the same tension force so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to replace ft which is in equation 1 to where equation uh, which is in equation 2 to where equation 1 is so i'm going to replace mg over cos theta to where there is ft in equation 1 okay so allow me to get rid of this okay so i'm going to say that I'm going to say that where there's ft I'm going to put mg times what uh mg then I have got sin theta here over what cos theta this has to be equal to the electric force now we know that cos we now have uh sin divided by cos which is going to be tan theta so we're going to have mg tan theta is equal to the electric force now what we have to remember here is this i can now from this equation i can find the electric force okay we also know that since we want to find the electric field okay we want to find the electric field electric field is given by electric force divided by what divided by the charge now i can make electric from here now i can make the electric force as a subject of formula so it's going to be electric force is going to be equal to the electric field times the electric charge so i can repress this with what i have here okay so i'm going to have my mg tan theta will be equal to i'm going to replace this with the electric uh, field times the charge now from here i can find anything they can ask me to find the electric field they can ask me to find the charge or they can ask me to find the electric force it is possible i can find now okay so it's just a matter of us making the charge as a subject of formula so i'm going to divide both sides by the electric field even here by electric field so before we continue what you have to remember is that uh, transcendent institute offers tuition in all uh, NS courses biology chemistry physics and math so if you want to register with us just get in touch with um, this number on up which is 0767729927 okay then you be able to register with us okay so let's continue now 
uh, so we, we, we are making the charge as a subject of formula. So it's going to be Q is going to be equal to the mg tan theta divided by the electric field. Okay, now we have the electric field, we have the m, we have the g, we have the theta. It's just a matter of us plugging in the values, then we find the what? The charge. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to say that our charge will be equal to m is a 5, but we have to convert this 5 into uh, kgs. So it is grams, so we need to divide it by a thousand. So if I divide it by a thousand, I'm going to get 0 0.005. Okay, then this times 9.8, again, I'll have tan what? Tan 20 degrees. I'll divide this by electric field. I've been given electric field to be a hundred thousand. Okay, now the charge, the SI unit for charge is coulomb. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to say 0. Point, uh, we have um, 0 0.005. So we have 0 0.005 times 9.8. Okay, then this, which is um which is 0 0.049 if i do 0 0.05 times 9.8 it is 0 0.049 so 0 0.049 uh tan 20 so this is giving me 0 0.1 or 0 0.0178 i'll divide this by a hundred thousand okay a hundred a hundred thousand so the answer I'm getting I'm getting uh, one point seven eight times ten raised to the power seven coulomb now I can convert this answer to micro coulomb if I want okay so how do we do that to convert this into micro coulomb, what I have to do is I need to do times 10 to the power 6. Okay? So I'll just say times 10 to the power 6. So it's going to give me um, 1.78 times 10 raised to the power negative 1 micro coulomb. So that is the charge. That is the charge um, of this ball. Okay. So, like I said, if you want to access all the solutions for this total sheet and the incoming total sheet, what you have to do is you need just to register with us, then you'll be able to access almost everything. Okay. So, get in touch with us and enjoy our service. Thank you.